one of the most famous dinosaurs of all, the bulldozer of the dinosaur world, the legend, that is, Triceratops. Nine meters long, three meters high, and twice the weight of an African elephant. Triceratops is one of the most iconic of all our deadly defenders. It came from a family of horned dinosaurs called the Ceratopsians. As a group, they were the ultimate battering rams. With giant horns positioned in front of a shield-like frill, they were seriously imposing. But how did they use their fierce-looking facial features when it came to defense? One theory was that they charged like a rhino. To put that idea to the test, scientists recently built and filmed an accurate Triceratops skull. They used a resin that had the same breaking strength as bone and faced it off against artificial dino flesh. So did it really charge like a modern day rhinoceros? This is Triceratops versus T-Rex. has not gone well. At its top speed of 15 miles an hour, it was the Triceratops that came off worse, with the whole upper jaw getting smashed to smithereens. The tests show that Triceratops' horns were plenty strong enough to pierce the flanks of something as formidable as T-Rex. But in a charging attack, the skull simply wasn't robust enough to take the forces of the impact, and it would shatter. It's more likely that Triceratops would have stood its ground, swung its head and gouged at its attackers. This method of attack doesn't need a charging head of steam, but the confidence to stand your ground and swing. To do this, Topsy had immense neck muscles to wield its weapons. But the trouble with this technique is that it's risky. Mess up your timing and you'll end up as tops on toast. But get it right, boom! Like a saber to the stomach, and not even the great T-Rex is surviving a stab like that, which makes Triceratops the definition of a deadly defender. With huge horns and a deadly gouging technique second to none, Triceratops was a terrifying titan. 